I find China very insecure today. Even though all the powers are consolidated in the hand of one person, Xi Jinping. Because under Xi Jinping, you cannot have a meeting of more than three members of the Politburo. That convention has been there, but it's more re reinforced during Xi Jinping, which itself manifests that they are afraid of internal coup. So not more than three Politburo members can meet together without the uh, permission of the president. The insecurity may stem from the short-lived mutiny by the Wagner Group in Russia, whose leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, although close to Putin, turned against him. Speaking at a seminar organized by the Center for China Analysis and Strategy in Delhi, Pen Sharing believes President Xi Jinping, despite concentrating enormous power in his hands, remains apprehensive and distrustful. The vision of uh, Xi Jinping is to have one nation, uh, one culture, and one language uh, at the expense of uh, the uh, national identity of all other nationalities inside uh, Tibet. So there is no political space whatsoever which is taken for granted in the free world. You have no access to Tibet. His point was echoed by other scholars present who pointed to social media posts by Chinese citizens raising questions about the potential risks to China if a Wagner-like situation were to occur within the country. Chinese leadership, Chinese Communist Party leadership would have got a real severe jolt after what happened in Russia. Suddenly, all their fears and concerns would have come to the fore. Now, with this happening, he will certainly start looking within his inner circle. He will start looking within the Politburo, whom, mind you, he has already put under surveillance, to see whether there is any plotting going on against him, which indicates a level of insecurity because of the discontent which is taking place internally. The Ministry of State Security must have activated its agents to monitor developments in Russia even more carefully. They, in fact, if we look at the Chinese media, for the last two years certainly, the number of references to color revolutions, acts by hostile foreign powers, the National Security Education Week, etc. has all increased. Speaking exclusively to Strat News Global, Penpa Sharing also referred to reports about the downturn in China's economy, the steep rise in unemployment among young Chinese, leading many, ironically, to throng to Buddhist temples. So you need spiritual development, and there is a huge vacuum in the Chinese society because they were not allowed to practice their religion, whether you are Catholic or Muslim or uh, Buddhist. And uh, now when we are talking about a high level of unemployment of uh, Chinese youths, then when there is no practical solution to their problems, then they resort to divinity. Uh, and that is what's happening in China, uh, that young people are now getting more and more frustrated with the government. They are not getting the job as per their commensurate with their qualifications, which was promised to them, which uh, Xi Jinping says a Chinese dream, but the Chinese dream is getting awry now. People are getting educated, but there's no jobs, and the government is asking them to go to the rural areas. So that makes them, I think, more angry. And uh, these could be serious causes for inflation within China. The seminar witnessed the participation of several scholars and experts dealing with different facets of the Tibetan issue. There were discussions on China's abuse of the Tibetan environment, the mass efforts to sinicize Tibetan Buddhism by taking children away from their parents, and of course, the effort by an officially atheist state to impose its view on the Dalai Lama's reincarnation. Team Strat News Global, New Delhi.